Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Jaden Sancho card to review today. Um, I'm probably going to make uh, like a change here and there. Like I'm going to have to take off Edward because you guys know like from the review as well. Like I don't really like this card. Uh, but Jaden Sancho, guys, does look really sick. We're taking a look at a card who is... 5'11", high medium work rates, right footed, 5 star skills, 5 star weak foot, so some beautiful stuff to work with so far, let's be honest. Uh, player traits. Oh, he actually has the finesse shot trait and the flare trait. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this card, guys, is actually really, really well formatted on a Hawk chemistry style. Did I already lose money on the card? Look at that, eh? 1.016, and I just got him from 1.04. That's just the vibes of the reviews, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, yeah, with Sancho, we're going to be using him on the Hawk Chemistry style, giving him that 99 acceleration at 95 for sprint speed. Uh, with shooting, we're going to have 97 for finishing. We're going to be boosting the shot power and the long shots to be uh, in the 90s area with attacking positioning at a 97, which is pretty solid as well. Uh, for... The base card stats for passing, he's he's actually set up really nicely too. Uh, right mid, you have 88 stamina, okay. So as a card you can use in any attacking position if you want to. It's going to be preferable in the side areas mostly, I would say. The fact that he has a finesse shot trait, I can totally see him being a really good left mid for a 4-4-2 because he has that 5-star weak foot to work with, which is a huge variable for sure. Definitely very nice. But yeah, base card stats for passing. The only thing that's low is going to be in long passing. Dribbling is in the 90s area with a unique body type. Nice. Very good. Unique body type. And then physical doesn't have much physical stats. Only has an 88 for stamina. Okay. Okay. Uh, guys, with this card, we're going to be using him in the 3412 as we normally do. I have to give Conte a shadow. But yeah, guys, the way that we're going to be using Sancho in game is going to be in the main attacking position. So we'll use him in the 3 4 1 2, playing him at left striker. Uh, we just have to make a few changes here and there. So Conte will put here Edward, Sterling, Tanganga, Klaus. And then we'll just change uh, Edward out for somebody else. We're going to actually do this, and then we're going to put Brahim Diaz there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the only instruction I'm going to have for Sancho is going to be on the instruction of getting behind stay forward as usual. And uh, we'll try him out, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh... Dude, it's so crazy how many, like, defenders you could beat and you still have to do so much. It's, it's, it's insane. Oh, the players going inside the 18 right, or inside the net right away when they pull them. Stop doing that, EA. You just bail people out. You guys already know the vibes, man. When you have those five-star skills and the five-star weak foot with the hot chemistry style, especially when it's like formatted a certain way with the shooting stats, you know? Oh, more power. Yeah, more power behind that. I do notice the base shooting stats a little bit when he took that shot, though. You gotta put more power. You gotta get used to it with certain players, you know? Let's go. Well done. Well done. Left stick dribbles come off great. It's working really well with his body type. I'll tell you that much. Ah, oh. Listen, you got to do the extra passes, but uh, for the sake of the review, you know, I got to go for that elastico. Oh, the AI defending, man, because that was so good. No, I had the ball roll touch. 
much. Come on. Ooh. Oh, they did. They they did some stuff to this jaded satchel car. I'll tell you that much. This car is uh, he's moving, moving. The plays, boys, the plays. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling that chip was going to miss. I had a feeling, boys, I had a feeling. Oh, and I got the timing on the goalie, too, but the defender was on me the entire time. First time. Oh, what, like, what do I got to do? More power on that one? I mean, the finishing was good. It was accurate. The attacking AI par guys, you don't have to worry about. I mean, he's obviously going to be really good. He has like a good high medium for sure. I'm sorry, there's just like, you just beat him so many times, they're like, nah, nah I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Every time, dude. Uh, deflection though? Uh, no deflection. Oh, come on, EA, come on, man. All this stuff, dude. Yeah, I knew I just had to put more power on it. Just had to put more power on it for those bad boys. Uh, I was kind of hoping that he was going to uh, push his goal here once I made that skill move to get past him. My goodness. See that movement though? See that push forward to come back real quick? I'm saying, man, you can use him in any attacking position. He'd be sick. So there has been like multiple occasions where obviously when it comes to the physical part of the card, uh, you are going to be lacking in that from time to time. If you want to make certain passes and you want to be able to outbody your opposition and stuff. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Jaden Sancho card. So, guys, uh, with this card on a Hawk chemistry style, they did a really good job with him, right? Uh, his high-medium work rates is a good high-medium. The way that he moves across the pitch is awesome. In the striker position, you can use him in the side areas. He would be amazing to use there, too. Uh, 88 stamina, good cutoff for stamina when it comes to the attackers in the game. So if you want to use him as your attacking-oriented center mid, your left mid, right mid, striker, cam, genuinely doesn't matter. The card will, will perform really well in any of the areas. The card is formatted in a way where when you give him the Hawk chemistry style, boosting his pace, shooting, and physical is definitely super ideal because with his card, guys, 5'11 height with the unique body type, his unique body type is working really, really well with the mid-90s for the important dribbling stats with a 90 for composure. You know, when he gets into the right shooting areas at the right time, that five-star weak foot is fantastic to work with. Obviously, in this game, it's harder to work the shooting angle because it's all parked the bus, right? But uh, with passing... 
you know from time to time you may notice the long passing being low if you actually go for that for specific attacks but you will be mainly using short passing for the most part um yeah it's just a really really well formatted card if i'm going to be really nitpicky the only thing that you notice with him uh is obviously the lack of physical presence in certain areas but that's not what this card is going to be used for right like you're, you're not going to force those types of passes on a consistent level because here's the thing guys with fullbacks that exist nowadays if people go with full meta teams or teams that are like somewhat meta if they have like a delaying card at left back and you're using Sancho there there's just certain passes you're obviously not going to be able to make because the fullbacks have perfect pace with the high high work rates they have the physical presence right so that's the one thing that you're going to notice being uh weak on the card but other than that guys the card is fantastic on the hawk chemistry style i thoroughly enjoyed using him if any of you guys get lucky and actually end up packing the card considering the fact you can get a nice little direct link with the team of the year walker card is incredible just for that four five one setup so uh is walker that walker is a right back right because of the team of the year i didn't really review all of them uh he is a right back card so boom there's your english link just like that right if you guys actually do end up getting the Jaden sancho card so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the review today uh what links does he have to work with is it just the is it just that one so sancho's a left mid left back shaw so we're gonna we're gonna ignore those ones for the most part so let's see the strong link strong links is mostly to the english guys obviously to ronaldo that would be if you guys have foot birthday sancho and ronaldo that'd be so sick to look at uh these cards striker kane if you want to do that bruno bruno would be a big link actually for the 4-3-3 absolutely that'd be a fantastic link uh smith row you could do that too smith row i'm not like crazy with the card but it's like they've made him like Good enough to use in the meta of the game. Uh, Paul Pogba. Do, do, do. Declan Rice's new card. Ooh, that would be sick too, actually. Because that's the triple link setup you need, right? If you're playing like a 4-3-3, you have Declan Rice, Sancho, and then you have the Fredericks card, you know? That'd be pretty sick, to be honest, if you guys actually uh, ended up getting that too. Phil Foden is incredible. I definitely would recommend putting him in a team too. Playing him in the cam position would be disgusting. He's so good. Super underrated because he's four-star, four-star, right? But yep trent alexander arnold dude that's an even cheaper link up i think right yeah 90k this card still performs really well in the meta of the game by the ways if you give him a shadow chemistry style he's still very very good yeah and then chalaba like dude there's so many links so many so many links you can go with with the straight inch central card so yeah if you guys get lucky and you pack him uh, <laughs> he's sick man just give him a hot chemistry style the card is gonna fly for you so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today i will catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys